Hello guys and welcome back to Arity. Today we're going to be doing some exploring and hopefully we can fight the Sun Lord, the final boss in the Aether. And then I might just like farm dungeons and stuff since I think we can defeat all of them now. So first let me get my stuff and then we can travel to the Aether. Before we start we should make a sack of holding. I don't know if I have any leather. No. But a sack of holding would be very good. I don't think the recipe is too hard for it. So we'll need string, an apple, and some leather. So let's take some food and we can go to the Aether because it's they've got cows there. So while we're looking around for other dungeons, we can do that. Oh god, I have to remember, don't step on the blue bouncy clouds or you'll just die. <laughs> cows, I see them over there. I'm over there. I think they drop leather. I mean, I hope they do. Yep, they do. We need to make a sack of holding so that we will have some way to store things while we're going and exploring and gathering stuff so we won't have to just return to the base every two minutes. Also, there are some pets I need to make uh, that do different things. Like, there's a house pet that should just allow me to teleport back to the house. Oh, there's the dungeon we found before. The other slider boss. Well, we can just fight him quickly. Uh, I'll probably do it off camera since I know I can beat him. Well, I will see you guys when the fight is over. Easy, I barely even took any damage. Let's see what we got. I know better than to jump down because last time that happened that I didn't get back up. Um, ooh, nice, more sentry boots. Those are helpful and... A hammer of notch. One thing I want to do, did I bring my wand with me? Oh, I did. I'm just gonna use it as I walk around because it needs to get uh, XP to level up. So if I just use it while I walk around, then eventually we'll have enough XP to level up so I can use, uh, there's higher tier spells. And then I think it also gets more mana, mana, whatever. I can't talk. I can't find any cows. There we go. There's the cows we need. Leather. There we go. Now that we have enough leather, I will go back, kill a couple spiders to get the string, and we will be able to make our storage. I did not see any other dungeons on the way though, which is kind of sad. We also need to make a home pet, because then it will allow us to teleport home whenever we want. Which will be nice if we ever get lost in the Aether because I don't want to have to run back. Or if we're any, in any tight situations we can just use it so that we don't die. There we go. And perfect. You get string if you break a cobweb with like a sword, right? Perfect! Now we should have everything we need to make the um... Whatever it is. <laughs> Here. So it would be like this. Apple. And string. Sack. Transport a container and all of its contents. So there we go. We have an extra chest now for that. And how do I make the home pet? Birch, I need an ender nugget. I have two ender pearls, that is perfect. So then I'll need a diamond. Good, we have a couple of those left. I'll need some wood and gold. So with all ele- Am I dual wielding shields? Oh my god. Yes, I am. Why am I dual wielding shields? Uh, let me put that back in there. And there we go. Home's pet. But now I need to set an area as my home, which is sneak and right click. Okay. So let's just test this first and see if it will work. And if it will, then we can go off and explore. We're in here and bam. Okay, good. Now we can explore with absolutely no consequences because the second anything is dangerous, we can just leave, which is great. I'm a fan of leaving when anything is dangerous. So I think we're going to look around for a bunch of other dungeons because we sort of need to farm dungeons to be able to get stronger and progress in the game since there's a lot of items. Like you can get heart shards which give you hearts and things like that. 
I might also try to slay the Cyclops because I have an easy way out now. If it doesn't work out well, I can just leave. I can just skedaddle. He's also the reason I didn't explore farther last time, so maybe I'll be able to do that now. And maybe he'll absolutely kill me within two seconds of existing. Who knows? Okay, come over here. Oh, shit! Oh my god! Oh my god. No! What the hell? No, he's just gonna do it again! Well, I guess that means there's only one way to kill him. Oh shoot, that's terrible. I guess we're gonna have to try and kill him from a distance then. I should have thought of that. Oh, that's awful. Did he destroy the chest? Also, he had barely any health. Okay, well, from now on, if I ever see a Cyclops, I'll know that it's fucking just absolutely stupid to approach him the way I did. That was dumb. At least now I know if I see a Cyclops, it only takes like five hits to kill him and it's easy. Ooh, it looks like there's a dungeon here. Let me look on this side. There's probably just an entrance over here to it. There it is. Ah! I thought if I hit it first, there's no chance it would be a mimic. Apparently, I was wrong. He's making a lot- Ow. Dude. Chill. The names are so silly, like... Toctiriamini. Toctan- Tocter- Toctaniramini. The slider. Like, who gave them these names? I've gotten a lot better at this, now I can... defeat them without even taking damage most of the time. What did we get? Some lightning daggers? Ooh. Oh, they just caused lightning. We did complete a quest, though, so that was the Gravitite. What are other achievements? How do I make an altar? Holy stone around a... easy? Does it drop it as a gem? Yeah. Now I can go back over here and make the thing. Uh, a altar? Let me just build up and get... That was not intentional, but whatever. It worked, I guess. Altar, Ambrosium, and there. We can make a healing stone. What is a nature staff? I'm assuming it uses these because it looks like the same color. Ta-da! We'll have to use our Aether lore book that we got for that later. Now it will technically let me do the other things. Let me try this way. Oh yeah, this is like- <gasps> Okay, good, good. That scared me. I just fell into the void because I stopped holding shift. Oh, that was scary. You know what I think we're gonna do, actually? And I think we can probably kill a Naga in the Twilight Forest mod. I'm scared of creepers. Please stay away. Whenever I see- I'm scared of sparkly things in this mod. Because it is inherently bad if it sparkles. As proven by science. Oh my god! Oh, thank you for absolutely terrifying me. That was wonderful. Well, let's go kill a Naga. We have, like, two lines of health. Ow. Our armor is all either diamond or better than diamond. So, why not, I guess? This is the wrong portal! Oh 
my gosh. Chaos is my life. <laughs> this portal. It's pretty. But at the same time, I'm scared. <laughs> there we go. Look, we've already done a bunch of damage to it and it's barely even hit us. Don't hurt the wolf! You evil snake. Okay, almost got it dead. Oh, it's so short now. It's just like me. Nice. We've got the Naga Trophy. That was pretty easy. Next is the Lich King. Actually, we can probably fight the other Naga that's just over there. If the cows- these aren't cows. The deer would stop running, I could just eat them, which would be nice. I'm not quite sure what kind of house I want to build yet. I'm thinking like some sort of medieval spirally castle, maybe. Even though I've never really built one of those. Oh, it's it's lagging a little, I think. Sorry if the video is lagging a little. It does that sometimes. Oh, I hear him. There, he's right here. Oh, no. Ha, he got stuck in his own trap. It is a special kind, though, which makes it a little more dangerous. So it's a Weber, fiery, which means it shoots webs, and it's got the whole flaming thing going on. It's so smoky when they die. We've got Shader Gavvegs and Shader Naga. That Naga we haven't done. There we go. Oh, I never got my regeneration stone back. That sucks. There we go, got him stuck in a loop. Nothing he can do now. There we go. We got all our loot. We've got three Naga trophies now. We've got scales and a bunch of other stuff. So we are doing pretty good. I guess we'll just run around a bit. Should we fight our first dragon today? He's right there. I have this handy right beside my thing. Let's go get him! In other words, let's probably die! Sleeping over there. We can see him sleeping over there. Should we try and kill him? Should I leave that for next episode? Screw it, let's get him! Let's not. <laughs> My health was starting to get really low. Not really low, but too low. We have done a bunch of stuff though. Well, anyways, I think we've done quite a bit today and I'm going to end the episode there. We did progress a lot in the Twilight Forest. We also grinded just some more. Every now and then you have to have a grindy episode where you just get a bunch of stuff. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, don't be afraid to like and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!